congratulations to you and Anna for your leadership and to all the staff here who um, not only survived Georgetown, uh, but managed to uh, put on this wonderful conference. And I say that with great fondness. I'm, my son is a, our older son is a um, graduate of the Foreign Service School at Georgetown, and also a recent graduate of the law school at Georgetown, and I married a Hoya, so um, Georgetown is near and dear to my heart, and I think they do a fabulous job organizing uh, this important model UN, um, and I've done so for 47 years. Um, I also got to uh, serve as a mom workings of Model UN because both our sons actually participated in this program uh, throughout their high school years. So I, I know some of what you have done here is to arrive as delegates from all over the country. Um, you clearly braved some blizzard conditions um, so your teachers and faculty members were wise in pointing you out as the nation's next generation of leaders figured out how to get here uh, in spite of dire conditions. And you come from not only all over this country, but uh, many of you from around the world. And I think that um, that's a dedication and perseverance that will serve you well as you um, not only go through this weekend. And I'm impressed. Here you are at Valentine's weekend. You must heart model you in.
dialogue, first with our neighbors in the Northern Hemisphere, but then quickly around the world. And because of that cooperation and collaboration, uh, the response was really in record time. The surveillance on the ground about what was going on, not only in the United States, but around the country, the sharing of scientific information, the sample sharing from across the globe allowed us to move more rapidly and quickly for a safe and effective vaccine um, and really begin that distribution system. We, as the United States, enlisted 10 other countries to step up and uh, agree that as part of our efforts in the developing world, we would make sure that a minimum of 10% of the vaccine would be donated on a regular basis as it was produced to developing countries to make sure that they were not left behind. And that kind of global collaboration really hadn't been seen so much before, but it's going to serve as a great footprint for not only how we respond to future pandemics, but how we jointly respond to health issues uh, facing us. 